Hello and welcome back to Lansdowne Roar. Sorry about that, folks. Um, <laughs> bit of a technical sniffy. This that has been happening all day at uh, the well Lansdowne Road, where we've actually uh, had our internet go out often. So if it happens again, we do apologise. But we are live. And that's what it's all about, I suppose. Um, yeah, so to finish the Republic of Ireland, uh, nil Greece to an historic fort home competitive defeat in a row for the Republic of Ireland. We still haven't beaten Greece. Um, strange one, really. Um, just going to have a look here at the Group B table. Um, England, of course, won 2 0 at home tonight. Harry Kane with a brace. Uh, Greece on top of the table, played two, six points. England have played two, six points. And the Republic of Ireland batting it out for third place, the relegation playoff <laughs> uh, with Finland, um, both on Nupwa, except they've conceded five goals and we've only conceded four. Fantastic. I mean, look, it started off, it wasn't terrible. It seemed a bit more um, like Heimer had a shape, had his say on the team, as opposed to, um, you know, John O'Shea. Um and um, well, that that's what I got from him as well. It was a bit of a slow start. Then we started to no, we started to ease our way into it, and then kind of towards half time we started to do quite well. And like Benny almost scored a screamer. He was just slightly off. And then of course they uh, we did what we always do and uh, stand back and give uh, one of their give their guy all the time in the world three the three central defenders standing off of him and uh he took puts it in the top corner uh, i don't know calher maybe a bit flat footed no 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 no, no, no no i don't know look look poor for me top uh, pins you know and then the second goal obviously alan brown hits the ball out of place so they're just playing the simple ball and then of course they cut us open and i mean I looked at it there. You touched on it, Matt Doherty getting booed coming on, which is not what you like to see. However, when you see him strolling back... Yeah, well, you don't boo a player. It's acceptable if he did something stupid on the pitch, you boo that. Well, they course saw it, didn't they? Because yeah. he did do something. I mean, he just strolled but back. But it wasn't his fault. Then The goal was all on Alan Brown, who was absolutely dreadful. Why he was left on the pitch, Malumbi, actually, whoever in abuses, was doing all right tonight. And... He, you could see his frustration when he came on because he probably thought himself he was having a good game, and then it took him off. And you could see a clear difference in the yeah uh, mind control. It's not the he controlling the game, but the intensity he brings to the game, the aggression he does add something to that team. And Lee, I don't know, understand why we took him off. What he was doing was fine in terms of our style of play. On up until then, I know they were one nil up, but that was just from one uh, lapse in concentration from the defense. But in terms of the control of the game, we were all right. And I didn't see the need to take, switch to just jumble the whole midfield around from then. I just don't understand it. Like, that second goes all on Alan Brown, I think. But all he did is a simple pass into Ogbena's feet and kick it out for a throw in. Yeah. It, just, I don't know. It was a strange, to me, it was a strange one. You know, you couldn't, it, it was weird. Like, it was, it was like somebody trying to come out of a sleep. <laughs> I don't, I don't like, know. Greece are so bad. Like, no, they're not bad. They're like, they're set up well. You can see what they want to do. Some of their footballers are technically good footballers when they're on the counter attack. They know, you, you know, they can hurt you. But in terms of being scared of them or thinking, oh yeah, we shouldn't win this game. There, there was nothing. We, sh we should have won that game tonight. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm just looking there at some of the comments coming in. Uh, keep them coming in. We are going to get to them in a couple of minutes. Um, we are going to be on till about. Half the half ten mark, and so keep them coming in, and uh, some angry comments uh, coming in there. I mean, where do we go from here? I don't know. Get rid of some of them players for a start, likes of Robbie Brady, Alan Brown. Just give up on them. Like I, I don't care. Go. Well, Matt Darry wasn't starting in terms of starting. Like why? Why? I mean, I, like, I don't. I don't like Robbie that. Brady tonight. What, what? What did he do? He can't. The man physically can't run. His legs are gone. He can't run. He just stands there on the wing, and then he does a few fake shots. Sorry, he'll slow the tempo of the game down. I know why is he still playing. I know he, he can't just always. Oh, all we've got. I don't care. Play, play Jason Knightley left back or left wing back if we have to. I mean, he'll do a better job. It's just the whole. Everything comes down our right hand side. Everything comes through Ogbeni. Literally everything. And like left hand side is just non-existent at all. Yeah, I mean, like Benny was a bit frustrating tonight as well. Um, he just, just it's a lack of confidence across the ball. In I don't know what it is too many touches. I mean, Jason Malumi played two. I mean, the third one that went astray, but yeah. the, the 
two absolutely world class yeah. balls. The first one there um, to um, oh, who was it to? It was a small bone, was yeah. it? Yeah, but straight up, but it was Togbane, was it? It was Togbane himself. Um, no, he, but it, there was another one as well, was wasn't there? To, was, did it go to small bone? And he played it. He just played it right across. And then obviously the second yeah. one was the. But still, I know what you're saying about you're happy with the team tonight, like. Why is Will Smallbone playing as a number 10 when he hasn't played as a number 10 in about two years? Why is Sammy Smodix playing as a striker by himself? I know he, he is a forward, but he doesn't play in a forward by himself. That's what it was yeah. tonight. And I, I just don't I, I don't get what the system was with what I know. I, you see we're more compact. We had more control of the game. But I don't think it was ever going to be. I don't think Greece ever felt that threatened other than little moments that we showed but overall we were never putting the pressure on them there, could never get the crowd going properly there was very little cutting edge wasn't there no. I thought um, you know we, we looked solid we, we came into it a little bit it was a bit tentative because you know this is a team bereft of confidence it's bereft of cutting edge and then we sort of got yeah. into it Benny almost scored just before half time gave the crowd a lift but yeah you, you just kind of felt in and around the box we were going to fluff it weren't we we were going to yeah. give it away the amount of fouls we gave away you know, you don't mind a tactical foul, but we just gave it away stupidly in areas. The ref was very poor tonight. I thought he was dreadful. Some of the yellow cards he gave to the Irish fellas, and some he didn't give to a Greece fellow. Time Sammy Smodic was talking about some of the soft frees. I know sometimes the Irish players can be stupid diving into tackles for no reason, but, yeah. but I just thought the ref was very poor as well. Yeah, um... <laughs> it's just it's just so disappointing because the first twenty minutes, half an hour. Now, Ben is goal disallowed. Even when a goal is disallowed, it usually gets the crowd going. And then someone, but I remember it got the crowd going for about tw- 10 seconds and then Smallbow kicked the ball out of play. Yeah, it, um, <laughs> just, it's just a very Irish performance. It was a, I, I think it was a strange match. You know, I just thought it was a very, very strange game uh, of football. Uh, do you think, though, that was more Heimer or Hamer than O'Shea? You think maybe the criticism got to him a bit? So listen, yeah, I'd you know, say he seemed more involved on. tonight. He seemed more involved in the sideline and stuff. But yeah, I don't know whether he was the man who made the switches in game or not. I don't know if he done that. Like, would have been his choice to leave Alan Brown on the pitch? Would have been his choice to bring Callum Robinson on, who actually had a decent chance. But I don't think anyone would have brought him on. Like what, Troy Power sitting on the bench. I, I feel bad yeah. for Troy Power. I mean, Evan Ferguson. I get, I get it. You know, because he's the he's the. the you, you know the next big name coming, but I mean he's way off. It hasn't well, kicked, hasn't kicked the ball in anger uh, for Brighton all season. He looked it. Well, we brought Adamita on, and it seemed like Adamita was playing as a second striker. And I don't know when he'll ever be a second striker. That's not his game. While well, Troy Parrott is more of a false nine type of player, drop in deep, pick up the ball. Like there was just no option centrally. When you took Spotix off, like he, we show we seen like little glimpses of what he could do tonight, but like it's just frustrating. Like it was just. As yeah, we were improved, but we were still very poor. No, thought... th- you know, th- you know, the thing is, though, it- it's unfortunate in a way. Uh, I think the time for the new guy, for the new manager, is that obviously you got the Nations League. See, there's no hiding. People, people don't like the Nations League. I like the Nations League. You know, it's way more important than people think. But it also, it's yeah, there's no hiding. Like, well, <laughs> unless Ireland's playing, lots of hidings. But what I mean is, there's no, you, you can't hide away. That's what I'm trying to say. You can't hide away from the fact you are playing teams in and around your level. And sometimes you get the odd blip, like England. They're not a League B team. They're League A and they're going to go back into League A. Well, they're going to fight with, it's going to come down between those and Greece. But there's no hiding place for us. And this is where you want a few friendlies now, but, you know, against the smaller teams, build up a bit of confidence. Oh, there's Deaglin. There he is. I see him. Um, but you know, Finland should be the type of game that we should be going away and we should be winning no matter what. Even now, after losing tonight, we should be going to Finland and winning. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, we're battling it out for the playoff uh, relegation, aren't we, at the moment? Uh, Deaglin, thank you very much, my good man. Oh. <laughs> Deaglin's not happy. Oh, wow. Sorry. Top man, thank you so much. Almost a I did. Nice one. We top man, Deaglin, thank you very much. Cheers, good night, phone pal. No, October, I'll see you in October. Sorry, just leave that was there. Sorry, can you see? Uh, when you're popular, you'll get people giving you gifts as well. Uh, sorry, back to <laughs> you never know what's going to happen on this podcast. See, internet going, people handing me mugs, Maltesers. I'll throw you over the edge of this ground. Uh, <laughs> Lisa Ireland can't do any more pain then. Yeah, what a bad the 21 is drawn and this. Oh and this. my god, it's been a crap window, hasn't it? Well, like we the turkey game on Friday night got us all 
buzzing. Everyone was buzzing after 21's winning the other night. And then we went into Saturday all excited, thinking, what if? And we go, just... Uh, it's, ever since. it's shocking uh, obviously we are live and we're going to go to the comments now in a second because there's not really much more we can say but we want to hear what you guys have to say um, if you're watching at home um, and you're watching on RTE and if there's any comments by the manager or whatever let us know in the comments we will get to those and we're going to get to the comments I think we're, we're in bad need of Dennis Serkin I think it was Heimer has to drop a bit of mat try and do a bit of yep we, we had a back we had a back four didn't we out of possession back three or with the wing backs in possession which I think made a lot more sense but we had a left winger playing as a left back and we had um, well a former left winger playing as a left, as a left what, back. What, what even is he these days like I don't want to sound bad because he was a very good player but yeah. it's like what does he offer this team anymore? He's a bit patched up and he's a bit like Robocop. Yeah, I feel bad for him like it's just it's just patched up kind of I would have I thought Oday, I thought I would have brought Odai on, on from because oh, Jesus Martin here as at least he would have offered a bit of overlap and dread, and he's actually been playing as a left back all season. So, yeah. Well, um, actually, where is my? I meant to say this in the, in the pre game, but the internet went mad and and all that, and I lost my newspaper because of the PA system. Uh, where is Martin? Here he is. Uh, he went all artistic earlier on. <laughs> he sent that in. God bless him. Uh, right, we're going to get to the comments, guys. Um, as I said, any just. You know, last minute, we're going to get through these as quick as we can. Then we're going to shoot off. Jordan Curley, we are crap. What a start. Paul Brown, we're in big, big trouble. Uh, McGonnet, it was a good first half with lots of positivity and some good interplay. However, same old bird brain, bird brain problems of not doing the simple things as usual, not closing down, leading to the inevitable. It was, it was a very, we, we just did very Ireland things, didn't we? Just, just sitting off like. Uh, Graham Gallagher, Mark Canham's resignation in the morning, please. Absolutely clueless, rudderless. Oh dear. Uh, McConnell again, it was very predictable. Everything was on the right wing, far too narrow and bereft of ideas in the final third. HH needs a clearer of some of this lot. Half of them look disinterested. Blue and gold. Uh, with pure shite, again, Brady has nothing to offer. Uh, Kevin, oh, I think we need to take a few years out of the international football just to get our shit together. <laughs> just pull out, just like that, come back in. And, what is it? Uh, League E, is it? Quick, get join San Marino and the lads. Yeah, give them a hiding. <laughs> um, Adam Kavanagh, San Marino have a more recent win than us now. Jesus. Four competitive home win uh, defeats in a row. First time that's ever happened, by the way. History makers. Uh, no, O'Donovan, O'Donov, great to see Matt already get another chance to make such a great impact. Um, hope he gets another 40 chances. He'll come good eventually. I, call me, Call me funny. I think he's been a tad facetious there. No, I don't think so. No. Okay. I think he's just thinking of a good young prospect. Uh, yeah, like if there's only a young lad that plays right right back sitting on the bench. <laughs> uh, Dennis Grenell, for the love of God, can we bring back COVID restrictions so we can save the Irish fans a fortune by preventing them from watching the shit show of a team in person? Kevin Kelly, pack of shy bags. <laughs> Jesus. Coming in thick and fast, lads. Um, McConnell, Doherty should never be given... Uh, a green shirt again. Brown not at this level. Brady tried hard but couldn't complete a pass down at the line tonight, meaning all uh, was on the right wing and predictable. Brendan Keishan, ah, lads, it's a sorry state of affairs. I am so looking forward to the rugby starting back soon. Heimer, we have the Ireland manager here. Uh, wink, wink. Great performance. Something to build on. I thought Dorothy was gone when he came on. <laughs> Fuck you, Dal. Lowe Donovan. Uh, Donovan. Uh, some great coaching from O'Shea, roaring forward repeatedly by we were 2-0 down. Genius needs need time now before Pep comes calling. Kevin Kelly, just invest it in the rugby now. No. God, no. Jordan Curley, this team isn't good enough. John uh, Foy, Doherty, slow again. Or again, slow. McGunneth, Brady also should have been sent off twice. Should he? Yeah, he put a few risky challenges in, yeah. Fair. There was one where he could have got a yellow card very early on and he got away with I used to watch Ireland games literally not figuratively on the edge of my seat I apathetically watched the second half laying on the couch the hope kills Jamie Fitzsimmons something very wrong in Ireland um, Matt Doherty is an absolute disgrace says James uh, positive is relegation to group C says Daza we will be playing at uh, that level of, we were playing at level against Adora Gibraltar San Marino and Liechtenstein I always wanted to go to Liechtenstein um, I do, I really do. Uh, Greg Murphy, lads, I was on holidays in Spain and got talking to a guy who claimed he worked in Irish football and told me a third party was willing to cover his wages and the FBI rejected this. 
I don't understand what that's... Well, manager or something. Uh, by the way, nearly 2,000 uh, people watching us live. Thank you very much, by the way, for the support. Remember, he... Please, if you're watching, subscribe to the page, subscribe to the YouTube channel there, scan a QR code, and also give this man a follow as well over Republic of Player Track if you want all the latest news on young up-and-coming players. It's time I retire. Now, now come on now. Jesus. Um, don't worry, I'll keep an eye on him, lads. Paul Brown, small boat doesn't have any pace, and we can't afford to carry him. Doherty refuses to chase back, but we can't press. For fuck's sakes, how hard is it to close down another goal against I do think, from outside the box? I do think tonight would have been a game for Josh Cullen, I think. Hmm. With Malumbi sitting as a six, which he is in a six, and you could tell at times when he there was these there was balls, there was Knight and the Smotics and the small one were coming coming centrally for balls, looking for the ball to get it in half turn, and Malumbi's not able to play that pinpoint pass. We did miss Cullen in that aspect, and God knows why Finazaz is sitting at home. Where is our creative midfielder on our team? Small bones decent or creative creatively, but it's like. One touch passes in behind. It's not he can't create something out of nothing or go on a dribble. Yeah, surprising. Like, why is Finizaz sitting at home? We needed a number ten in that team tonight, or even Andy Moore. And why is Andy Moore not the seniors over? We've no way that one single creative midfielder in that team tonight. Major problem is I've never seen an Ireland team like this. Isn't about the worst group of players I've seen uh, play for Ireland. Yes, by the not. way, uh, genuinely, it, yes, it, definitely not. It's not. But I've never seen a team in such bad shape where we don't have a left back, we don't have a right back starting like it's patched up that's yeah. it's makeshift you, you can't do that you know you can't have so many positions makeshift you got square pegs into round holes that that was a that was a major theme not yeah. having a go but that was a major theme on a kenny where you know just put the guys in a position it's it's not that hard but anyway we'll move on um Adam Cabin, hello from Vancouver again. Good man, Adam. I've watched every Ireland game from the age of six, and I have no interest in watching the games. The next window, sad state of affairs. Well, hopefully you'll watch the pod, Adam, and we'll get you back onto the winning team. Jordan Cordy, I think we are getting relegated. I think it's needs. I think so. I think a reset. I think um, I think we've been the Everton of the Nations League. I think we should be should have been relegated a few times, you know, and. We've been lucky. We actually did get relegated. No, we don't want to get relegated. League. We don't want to get relegated. Why? So it's just awful for seeding and things going into all other competitions in the next Nations lead League. It's even, even if we can somehow manage third in this group. Like we, I think we're the worst performance ever in in the Nations League, aren't we? We we rank some. Yeah, we barely won a game. Well, no, but we still need to. We're still playing for pride at this stage as well, and. Realistically, there is still a chance we can finish second. We can go to Greece and win in Greece as unlikely as it seems and beat Finland home and away. Bless you, Connor. Bless this man here. My that optimism. Gone. Don't worry when you get to my age, no, pal. No, being realistic, if you got <laughs> if you got seven points still at this stage left to go, there's a chance you can finish second, which I don't think we will, but we can't get seven points, pal. John Foy beating England away. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do we'll do them for you today, lads. Doesn't matter who the manager is, we will never have a decent team that will play to get it. Joe Edward defending was just too poor. It was, and you know what? It was actually against the run of play. That's the frustrating thing. You just saw, you know, what we could do a little bit, and then all of a sudden, bang, same mistake. Greg Farland getting sick of the same old mistakes defensively. He's tiring to watch. Mahad already switching off at the second and letting the score run off him. 14 of our last 21 goals conceded have come outside the box. I can't believe he took Lumby off. He was the best player. He kept up like Benny in down the right. Bizarre substitutions all night. Yep. Yeah. Why did he come off? Uh, uh, yeah, no, I agree with that. Uh, John Muckian, McAteer looked okay. I must. Um, the man has something. The man has, yeah. Uh, sorry. Kevin O, I was thinking this was rock bottom of fear. Worse to come with the next two away days. I mean, we do have Greece and Finland away. We're not back here until November, which is Finland at home. That could be. That's the playoff. John Troy actually looked okay for the first half. Agreed. More direct and having a go with him. Same old failings. Uh, failing to pressurize uh, the long distance shot. Looked like we could genuinely get an equalizer, but they scored another. And that was it. Is there a psychologist in the group? Because psychology psychologically, there is something not right. I agree. I, I do think there is something a bit deeper there. These young lads just seem uh, frightened. You know, three. the problem was, there's three lads standing off, waiting for somebody else to do something, showing a lack of initiative. Is that fear? Is that laziness? Or is that just that was, a lack of that's initiative? That's one of the worst games I've ever seen Darryl Shea play tonight. Oh, my God. He was dreadful. Absolutely yeah, he was useless. Off it. He was off it. Canton is Cap, Malumbi, Smallwell, Robinson, McAteer looked brightest for Ireland. Robbie Brady got stuck in with good effect too, I thought. Uh, imagine if McManny's goal had stood, there were fleeting signs of light. I do agree. 
but the same mistakes. We keep making the same stupid mistakes. Uh, Daza, we will lose the remaining four games. This is an embarrassment to the country. Oh, God. We lose to Finland. Christ. Uh, Nola Donovan, uh, Donovan, who's in pool scene in Aces League? Any potential nice trips at least? Ireland. <laughs> um, off the top of your head? What are you saying? Where, where, where are we going to Group C? Oh, Andorra, probably, or somewhere. Nice, we'll see, nice skiing trip away in Andorra. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, Daza says, can't win if you can't score. Cantonous cat. Alas, the autumnal darkness has arrived. That's football. La Belle Dama, sans merci. I'm sure I butcher that. James E.T., how the fuck most Troy part most Troy part feel by not getting a minute over two games? I'm watching the likes of Callum Robson and Alan Brown. Fucking scandalous. Yeah. I can't disagree with that. That was a pack to defensive 10 players and drive for draws. <laughs> Craig Murphy, I was talking about a third party willing to cover Steve Bruce's wages to take the job. Whoever the FEI supposedly rejected this, I'd take Bruce now, though. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. No. There's a reason he's the Blackpool manager now. He's absolutely. Look at West Brom since he left the state West Brom were in, and now they're one of the best teams in the championship. I mean, 10 years ago or 15 years ago, Bruce, I thought, yeah, but. Yeah, but it's 2024. Yeah, I, I, that that's why I said ten or fifteen yeah, years ago. Guys, I'm looking There's in the a past. point there. There's a point in the past. Says the Man United fan, David Lacey, another dreadful night. I can see he's finishing bottom with no points and no goals. Christ. Uh, G- Gibraltar and Dora no. Um, Daza says no. David McGoldrick enthusiast. We can't let Amba Bombadelli overlap. Just doesn't have the skills. No, he's a centre. He's a centre back. He's not a right back. Yeah, he shouldn't be playing there. There was something that that summed up this team. Ogbeni was was over here, the ball on the right wing. And instead of whipping in the cross, he takes a touch, takes it out of it, tucks in, and then he plays Omba Bombadelli yeah. out onto the right wing. And Omba Bombadelli is just standing there where Benny was, and he tries to cross it in. And, of course, he can't cross yeah. it in because he's not a winger. He's a centre-back. And you're thinking, well, you were just there. Why didn't you just cross it in? But yeah. you said you played me in to cross it in. You're the just winger. Just overplaying it all of the time. It's just so frustrating. Overcooking it. Just fucking whip it in. Uh, Sam, uh, in what scenario should Brady uh, and Brown be involved in the Irish setup in 2024? Horrendous. They are even considered for selection. Um, Kevin O. Connor is right. Give up some of the dross. Brady should know himself. He's not up to this level. Self-awareness required at this stage to admit he's not up to it. Yeah, I think we could do with a couple of retirements, actually. Um, maybe I hate to say, but maybe he's one of them. Uh, Dave McGoldrick, enthusiast. McAteer looked decent. Anyway, is there anything that can be said for Mass? Says no, uh, O'Donovan James E.T. How the fuck must tr- oh, same comment, same comment has come in there. Uh, is there any positives? Unfortunately, no, says Joe Jordan Courtney. I'm not sure, get the game's over, probably. Yeah, <laughs> we get to go home. Yeah, I mean, look, it wasn't the worst performance I've seen by the this Irish team, but it's just it's like we're coming out of a slumber, like out, 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 out of a coma, you know, that's what it felt like today, or, or a very deep sleep. Uh, where's Troy Paris, says Dave McCaldrick, enthusiast, sitting on a bench, unfortunately. Doherty, a carrot for every one of his Irish caps. That has no interest in playing for Ireland, says Sam. Graham Farrell, we haven't one player who can cross the ball. It's absolutely embarrassing. The set pieces were also very strange to watch. Finizaz can't. And work out what the hell we were trying to do. Finizaz, he's gone for Finizaz. Uh, I'll tell you what, the next squad announcement is crucial. Is crucial. I think the Hamers. But I don't think he's going to. What? Who's he going to change too much? And that's like someone like Dennis Sirkin declares or Finizaz is called up. Like, I, I think Doherty needs to be kept out now. I'm sorry, but he does. And I think Brady needs to be kept out now as well. They're just not up to it. Does he go for someone like Luke O'Connell and call him up or Joe Hodge or like take like, a chance on Fest? Like take a chance on Fest. No, but even bring but, him Finizaz. But like we look at the key positions that Ireland's feeling. It's right back, left back. Uh, as a number six, and um, Malumbi was one of our better players, players tonight, but he's not a number six. And you could see in times, but we had to uh, even Luke O'Connell playing there. Who I know he's playing in League One, but if you if anyone watches him playing, you can tell he's well above that level and won't be there next year. Like, why don't we just bring him in and see what he can do in training? And if he can do it well in training, like, what difference is it having him in the squad and having Callum Robinson in the squad, or even say Troy Barry? You know, we all yeah. want him to play tonight. If you're not going to play him anyway, we have how many fours? If you looked at our bench tonight, it was like five forwards and like one midfielder. It was ridiculous. Well, we only picked five midfielders for the bloody and squad. And one of them was Casey McAteer, who's not a like he's central a, midfielder. No, he's a winger, isn't he? He's an attacker. Uh, m- Mr. Mister, we have enough quality in the side, but just don't have that cohesion. The spine of our team is the base of the foundation. We shouldn't be using half that team. Legs are gone. Need refre- need freshening uh, freshening up. Our younger players have enough ability. Ferguson, Fessio, Brian. I do agree. 
There's a, listen, there's enough in this team. There's enough in this group of players to qualify. Uh, I'm not saying there's enough in this group of players to give England a, a trashing or whatever. Um, but there's enough in this team to qualify. We just need cohesion. There's a few players that need to be uh, moved on. There's actually players still featuring in the squad that probably should have been moved on under Kenny. Anyway, we won't get into that. But there are some lads that need a chance. Some of them aren't playing for the clubs. But yeah. you know what? Sometimes it's not a bad thing. You let them, you let them play for the country and then gives the clubs a reminder. Oh, actually, this is what this boy can do. And we just don't seem to do that. We just keep going with the same players over and over again. And they keep ma- and the same players make the same mistakes. It's incredible how the next is it's down the next squad is crucial. It's probably one of the most important squad selections, I think, in Irish football history. Yeah. Because I think if they go with the same lads again, you're gonna have everyone just pissed off. Let's be yeah. honest. And you're thinking, what? what is the point? Like, are, are you not watching the same match? Anyway, um, David uh, Hadley Malloy, we are dirt. Uh, Terence Foodie, two tremendous strikes, but you can't give internationals five-yard space. It will always hurt you. Something that has just carried over from the from the Kenny era. Sorry. John Mucky and Ida and Ferguson had no impact. Um, Ida is having a bad patch. Ferguson is nowhere near fit. Nowhere near fit. He hasn't kicked the ball in anger for Brighton. All season hasn't kicked the ball in anger for Brighton since March. It was five, five months. If someone, five months. What month are we in? Are we in the ninth month? Yeah. Um, Kevin O, yeah. can we just get David Prendo and Connor in? Only people that speak sense about this thing. Good man, Kevin O. Good lad. Uh, Brian Conway, we are weak. England struggle with Slovenia and Slovakia. We struggle with England. That's just how weak we are. Uh, okay. Uh, Dennis Grenell, uh, I was tempted to go to Finland next month, but there's no point. The football will ruin it. For a brief period under O'Neill, we could go to away games and the football would actually add to the experience to be a positive result. For the last six years or so, it's been nothing but abysmal and depressing. I will be in Finland. So will he. And we will hopefully be doing this podcast from there. Don't give up the hope yet. Brought you two and a half thousand viewers, by the way. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to the to Lansing where we do appreciate it. Uh Jadeski, hopefully HH is learning fast and some people will be out of that team. The same names, Brown and Doherty would like to see Parrot given more of a chance. The next the next squad is so vital. Brendan Keishan, Robbie Brady, Matt Doherty, Alan Brown, Seamus Coleman all have to leave. They have given their best long before now. We need to have more than one plan in a game. Uh, Sheeran McGavin, uh, have you seen those football matches where a large number of kids play a small number of professional footballers? I saw one recently where three Dortmund legends take on 100 kids. I did, actually. And he still bloody scored. Um, Sheeran McGavin again. Instead of kids, it was Republic of Ireland qualified footballers. Will be still lose? <laughs> No comment. <laughs> David Simmons, here we go, scrapping with the Finns to be in a league above our capabilities. We're a mid-league C, C team at best with players that don't gel whatsoever. And no matter what way you put any combination of players together, it's a lose-lose because there's no, there's too many holes, too many errors, not enough uh, passion only for periods and toothless again. Okay, the, the offside goal was great to look at, but if my auntie was my uncle, she'd have balls. Yep. Carl Daly, it's the hope that kills you. That's fucking, that's true. Deck Finnegan, how you doing, Deck? Hope you're well. So my first international 964 tonight was as low as I can remember. Tell you what, if the under-21s don't qualify for the Euros, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I, I'll tell you what, though. Deck, he knows. 64, first game. Jesus, 60 years ago. Fair play to you. Um, hope you're well, Deck. Uh, Kieran, I'd be curious that Halgrimson will now do what he will now do before the next window. He has to get the finger out and actually get some fucking plans together. Dean Flood, this team tests my patience so much. <laughs> I have to fly to a home match. <laughs> Myself and Martin. Um, Johnny Foy, there's better pl- football played in the Phoenix Park by under 10s. Johnny Unitas, can't understand how Ferguson, McAteer, Robson, Ida all brought on ahead of par. Absolutely ridiculous. Jordan Curley, I think this team is so bad. Paul Brown, what in the name of Jesus are a shame Paddy McCarthy looking at? I like HA to clear that coaching ticket. By the way, how does Small one get man the match? I, do you know what they didn't even talk about an RTE? Oh. That's embarrassing. They need to stop that. Well, uh, they need to stop. At least that. give it. You can give it out after. Fair enough. And he got booed as well when he said it. Wait, I don't think it's just him getting. No, it. no, it's, it's not the player. The yeah result, but nah, like, it's not the player, of course. Just hand it. Just do the interview and say you got man of the match instead of calling. I know it's Sky, but you can say it to him in the interview. Who cares over the speaker? Thirty-seven thousand people. No one's gonna buy a Sky subscription because you said Will Small won't got a man yeah. of the match. No, agreed. Uh, Johnny United's worst era in Irish football in a long time. Um, 
even an era with Paul Green and Conor Sam was more impressive. Glenn was much poor Greece side than what we played last year. Shooter McGavin. Parrot's been fairly shy at any time he's been given a chance. He's as slow as molasses. No, no, he scored uh, last time he won, he scored last minute. When's winner. the last time he's been given a proper chance? True. And um, there was positives. We looked well coached in the first half. Small ball looks better higher up. Malumbi, good game. Second half, we got stretched and substitutions made us weaker. Well, I still don't know. Somebody's asking why he's taking Malumbi off. Like, it's not like he was injured or he was tired because he was fuming to come off. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? He yeah. was very angry. Deck Finnegan, the international team with Brown, Brady, Hardy and Unfit Ferguson. What the fuck? John Muckey in the Na- Nation League is competitive. HH under pressure already. Adam T, why do we keep conceding long-range shots? Is this coaching issue or are the players just too lazy to close down the box? It's coaching and mentality. It's coaching. It's, it's coaching. They need to be more aggressive. They need to give them less time. We lose to Finland. Uh, we may forget about it altogether, says Glenn. Enough is enough, says not public. The FBI needs to fold. We don't have any more time to give uh, this administration. Team life's too short. Heim- Hamer's is boo for he's shown nothing to justify his appointment. His appointment disaster. Also, uh, unpalatable is to some people. Time to take a look into the big book of Irish grannies. Uh, every other team looks at as desperate for players. We should be doing much more aggressive. Um, sorry, what chances does Aaron have right now? He says uh, Nick. Nikovac, I, I do apologize for butchering that name. I presume, <gasps> presume you're Greek. Um, this is so depressing. <laughs> get used to it. John Foy backing away from the strike instead of um, going forward. Uh, then what, what's going on? It's not like confidence, it's a lack of skill and structure. You don't know what each other's place out in the field when trying to attack. No, done if it. Glenn, I have no confidence whatsoever. It will beat uh, Finland. Jordan Curley feels so flat. They McGoldrick enthusiasts, should we not just scrap the under-21 project and bring some lads into the main team and dump out all the oldies, uh, i.e. and L? We hope that Boston Lowell uh, plays this weekend. I don't know if he's back or not yeah. for Stoke, but I think he'll be back either this week or next week. So okay. if he plays a couple of games and plays well, surely he has to be brought straight back into uh, or okay. straight into the senior squad. Like. Uh, surely the players can sense this is all weird saying the gaffer doesn't even want to do interviews multiple people giving them feedback when you go a goal down who do you, they turn to no Donovan agrees with that Dick Finnegan can't believe the scales of power never got a run that's crap but he can't, I'm deeply worried about the influence John O'Shea is having on the team and especially the defence there's a pattern of that type of long distance goal uh, going back to when he got involved in the coaching I think it's before that John Mucky and the other 21 guys seem to be in turn cross there wasn't a crowd in town the same evening as the national team playing poor planning from the FAI again not the FAI's fault but the fact that it was in Tala was, is, the is, a, is a mistake I don't know why Yeah, I think they wanted to think of going batter Latvia because of a big open pitch but uh, back they went against them in the end Oh, which is very frustrating. Um, Glenn, Collins, O'Shea have been very poor in the past two games. Uh, their position very poor. Not sure what uh, why he's not given O'Brien Scales a shot. Phil Tavi sold a strong day. Football, not a single finish between the seniors and the 21s. Nick thought Alma Bombadelli was decent enough, better than Collins. Nola Donovan. Collins, I thought, was all right tonight. I thought he played well. He was okay. Yeah. Captain for the night. He's the best of the back three anyway. Well, Alma Bombadelli has the potential of playing as a right back is in his position. Yeah, uh, Noel Donovan. Did it mention you can Dave so try to escape like <laughs> Bell and Aaron? Uh, the Doherty stick is over the top. People expect a right back to turn the team around. No, we just expect the track back. No, but he means remember when Doherty first broke through and we were all about Doherty has to play, Doherty has to play, yeah. and we thought he'd make a difference when he was a right wing back when he actually didn't. True, um, this is disgusting now. How now our national team is a complete disgrace, says Jordan. Uh, Richie Joyce, really bad team, really bad management. Over 100 days waiting for the shit. Should have left the dentist when he found them. Uh, come, trying to get through these comments, guys. We're going to close up the next five minutes. Other side again says Comco. Can't blame Kenny now, though. Kevin O, Stephen Kelly is slamming up the heart on uh, Ortiz. Says he strolled back for the second goal. Yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> Deck Finnegan, Connor, did you honestly believe that after the Turkey 21 game on Friday there was a buzz about Saturday against England? No, but I mean, there was a buzz in, there was a buzz in general because. Uh, we don't think everyone was a bit buzzing after the 21 to the big win away in Turkey. There seemed to be, well, off social media anyway, people were a bit excited. And then obviously there was going to be exciting anyway for the England game, but people were thought when the 21s went away and won in Turkey and they would have won tonight. They would have been top of the group with two games left. Yeah. So there you go. 4 uh, 4 fucking 2. <laughs> That's Mark O'Reilly. Absolutely. That's basically what we played, isn't it? Yeah, out of possession. Uh, Pilt up, and we look better. 
Well, Tavi, uh, throw a few of those uh, Apple Billions at the domestic game. Of course, talking about the tax. CB Darty's a bag of shite. Should have sprinted back. Not public to Doyle. Bike shelter was better value for money than Heimer. If you watched one video, I'm hard of playing since his appointment. Uh, four or five of those players wouldn't have started either game. Lazy, clueless. Brandon Walsh thought the shape was better, but the usual players playing the wrong positions. Uh, I'm a Bob Donnelly. He's never full back. Knight, uh, for as much as he tries, is never left winger. What did we have to lose by playing Fessy right back and back at your left wing? Knight, Knight was one of our better players tonight. I thought he was all right. Uh, West United FC. O'Shea looking after his buddies, Doherty and Brady, like playing with nine men. Kazi, God save us from Matt Doherty, please. Um, is, would, is Doherty even one of O'Shea's buddies? He never played with him at all. That was... Uh, no, that was post. Yeah, it was. That was post. Um, uh, the Eagle, how dare the Doherty wear the green jersey is a total waster. Dave McGoldrick is easier. Sammy Smollix behind Dave McGoldrick is what we actually need, Connor. We started moving to get him back playing for Ireland. Tell you what, that's what they'll do. Get Ditsy back. Get him back in. Uh, yeah. CB, that game is a bore fest. We should cap the age limit to 23. And if you're playing in the Prem of one of your big leagues and are over the age limit, then you can make the team. Patrick, Gary Doherty would be a better option. Nick Menzies, picking so many players at a position, yet again, only one outcome, so frustrating. Anna Brown again d- demonstrated yet yet again he cannot cover an international football while well, Finnis and Jack Taylor, two players who were comfortable on the ball. Sat I thought and, Nick liked Alan Brown. I, th- I thought Nick was a huge Alan Brown mark there. But, he wants uh, Karen Clark back. Karen Clark up front. The Eagle, we have no options in attack at all. We can't make a chance. Carl Daly, like, has anyone even attempted to speak to Brian Barry Murphy? Clearly has something as a coach and could offer more than either McCarthy or O'Shea. Basils Zongales, ladies and gentlemen, European Champions 2004 is back. <laughs> Good man. Um, Anthony Bailey, great. I wouldn't even fancy us against Liechtenstein. Uh, I love saying Liechtenstein. I love saying that. Uh, we need McGoldrick to come out of retirement to see B. Mark Fitzpatrick. Freckin' Greeks invented... Okay. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> We're live. Is there anything to be said um, for another mass? More Father Ted references. No, I don't know. Uh, Pella Aaron, we are at the point now where none of these players, no success in an Ireland jersey and very little um, of them know it in the cruise at all. Going to be a long time turning this around. Hashtag McColdrick saves us. Right. Uh, if so, Smallburn's the best players, then we are in very big trouble, says the Eagle. He's not, though, is he? John Mulkian as says, arguably Ireland's best creative player. Back to why is he so... Yeah. It just pisses me off. Like, he didn't start the season that well, but, like, he got... He played very well the last game before the international break. Just tell someone to go home. We don't want you anymore. We'll take you instead. Fair enough. Medalek Storm, Fessy Abaselli should have played. Agreed. Niall, Ireland is so shy. Tickets should be... <laughs> Jamie Hurley, I'm a lot supporter, but I can't watch when the people organised don't have a fucking clue. Dean Flood, if you think about it, the last two games we lost to the European runners up in the European Champions, and it's all better. Right. And World Cup yeah. winners. Uh, will we ever see the days of 1994 or Japan again? Yes, we will. Uh, we will. Just go on Lansdowne Road when the anniversaries come up. Queen, uh, queef on my beef. <laughs> don't even know what that means. I'm sure you do. You don't want to. Oh, fair enough. Jose, or personary if we had rice and grealish tonight we could have definitely held greece to one nil heimer's at it again because still win the group i reckon league a here we come <laughs> john mucky and stop connor avoid relegation is hopeful um you know Nurek, that was woeful no debate thank you for that uh connor a why have we not seen parrot god only knows kevin on nathan collins saying we need to score well playing with no strikes doesn't help basic stuff we still lost two nil didn't we we did medal uh x storm when the rugby's on or when's the rugby on? He can be back in the squad. Don't you worry, since John Mulkey. He's not going to play at all for Burnley, so I don't know why. No, there you go. Paul Shit. Brown, um, FA only to blame here. Given a new, giving a new manager these games start off his reign is piss poor. Living at or just described on YouTube. Always liked your tweets. Good Top. man. That's. I mean, I know it could be one of yours. It could, could be. One. Could be. Could be. Kevin L. Um, I think HH is trying to see out his campaign. Then back to the dental surgery with a nice lump sum. Brandon Walsh. Um, back to the days of Andy Reid. And now, as as and more, none of our managers will ever play with a proper number 10. Uh, could dribble with the ball. Gonna give the last... No, none of our players can play in the half turn, can they at all? You can't ping a ball into their feet and they can spin. Nope. Smodix can a bit, but he played as a number nine, so... The Greek lads uh, did that really well. Um, right, guys, so many comments here, and we got to get out here. We're going to do the last five comments, and I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much, by the way, uh, for your support. 3,000 people watching us live here. Brilliant. Perfect ladies. Um, back to the days of Andy Reid, Wes, and now Azaz and more. And none of our managers will ever play with a proper number 10 that can dribble with the ball and create. Great Farrell thought Collins was awful as well. I'm a Bombaday did well at right back. Uh, Live Nader, 
Uh, I'd like to give Heimer the benefit of the date until the Nations League. We just need to pray for a good World Cup draw. Next month's crucial. Yep. Judeski, HH saying an RT that the team has no confidence. They must also dread having to turn up for Ireland at this stage. I uh, agree. I don't rate Collins as a defender at all. Uh, might as well have Connor as assistant manager. Rank out. There you go. We've surpassed 3,000 viewers, by the way. Brilliant stuff. John Foy, manager saying the players have no confidence. Manager saying they were, were, un- were unorganized with. Um, which led to the second goal. Martin Prendergast, we're going to leave it on this one. Martin Prendergast, soft goal. Uh, we then did the usual Ireland thing of going for, put him under pressure, and then he concede that shite goal over the top again. Lads must be lacking confidence. Guys, we're going to leave it there. Thank you. If you have any questions, just DM me or DM DM Dave. DM us. But I don't get I think you'll just be good. It's just people giving out, I'd imagine. Yeah. <laughs> we got to go. Listen, thank you so much for your comments. Um, but we are pressed for time because they're going to be locking up here now. Uh, thank you so much. If you haven't done already, please subscribe to the podcast. Um, scan a QR code, head over to our Facebook, Instagram, and our Twitter account. Um, if you haven't done already, just hit subscribe on the old YouTube channel. We're trying to grow that. Give this man a subscribe as well. Republic of Ireland player tracker. Uh, it is in the link, by the way. We, 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 oh, thank you very much. There you go. You see, we look after him. Um, yeah. And basically, if you want to know what's going on with, with the current team, this is the page to uh, look at. And we've got a few lads looking around the pitch yeah, there. Not... No, fucking no. Bro- show abuse out of Nah, I'm just joking. But listen, anyway, we're going to leave it there. Uh, we probably are going to do some sort of window review. I'm not just not sure where, because I'm in Ireland for a few days anyway. But uh, thank you so much uh, for your support over these last few days. The results have been crap, but you know what? We've had we've had a bit of crack talking to you guys, and you're brilliant. Mm. The raw face. We'll be back eventually. We will be back. Get us to Slovakia or Slovenia, or wherever the Euros is next summer, 21s. Give us a bit of hope, something to go support. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? But listen, thank you so much, guys. We're going to leave it there. Oh, and by the way, congratulations to my sister and uh, her fiance on the birth of beautiful Nicholas. Uh, Who is he meant to see of that, by the way? Oh, come on. Uh, he, he's, uh, anyway. Stop bins, will you stop? Stop bins. And that's in slow motion. What are you? Anyway, uh, congratulate. Stop. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, should I just stand there looking at him? He had so much time. Oh, so much time. God. But uh, congratulations to my sister and her brother in law on baby Nicholas, um, who will be playing for Ireland. Sorry, Ed. That's happening. You've no choice. Not gotten there first. Not that decimalized bollocks here. Uh, anyway, lads, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much. Um, sure please cool. continue to. Uh, he keeps looking at the goal over and over again. Please continue to support the pod. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, we're out of here. Um, good night. God bless. Safe home wherever you are. And uh, well, hopefully, come see on. you soon. See you soon. And hopefully, come on, you boys in green somewhere. <laughs>